Uh, and today we are going to look uh, at uh, React portals. A uh, quick show of hands so that I can uh, gather the audience. Uh, how many of you already know about uh, portals? React portals? Okay. And uh, how many of you have like tried out hands on that? Like uh, either in production or not? Okay, great. So this is good, right? Nobody knows. Uh, <laughs> 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 kind of believe it. <laughs> so cool. So uh, React portals is actually a new feature uh, that has come up in uh, React 16. Even before it came up in React 16, there was a lot of work going on in the community for that. There was a lot of need for it and uh, what we do today is that we have some code. We'll run the code, we'll see what the need is and how React portal kind of uh, solves it. And more importantly than that, uh, there were certain concerns uh, when uh, React portal came, whether it is a good practice to use portals or not. There were a lot of debate around that. And finally, it emerged out that using portals actually makes you a good developer. So let's see how uh, that is. Okay, now I don't know how to move this slide. So if I go to slides for it, I can just see my... Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, what is React? Yeah, I'm not really going to slide, because I have to switch between code and here. So just see here. Okay, so... Um, let's uh, look at uh, uh, one example first, and then let's see uh, what exactly is the problem that we are trying to solve, and then we'll get into the definition of portal. So I have created uh, uh, some sample applications, very simple uh, React applications created using the CLI. And uh, this uh, code is available in uh, GitHub, I will share the link with you. And you can take a uh, look at it later. So let's say if I first go to... The first one and I run it. So one day my manager came to me and he said, you know, uh, I want you to create uh, a login page for our application. And I thought that's like, you know, a chutkika command, so I'll just create one login form and uh, I'll show it to you. And he said, I want email address, password and things like that. So I said, yeah, this is what, uh, you know, we have been doing for the last 10 years. So it's not a very big deal. So let's see if the login page comes up. <laughs> oh, yeah, it just comes up. Uh, oh, you cannot see the uh, gray part, right? But just assume that it's a good uh, gray. <laughs> <laughs> just for our ease, I'll just change that. Uh, Dark. This is fine, right? Yeah. <coughs> so, uh, this was our uh, login box look like, and I was like very happy, and my appraisal time was coming up. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know, I got to really impress him out, and I said that, you know, you just enter your email address like this and say login, and he'll just do the thing. And he said, what about login? I said, that is not my concern, that is the backend thing will take care of it. I'm the US, it is there, for to see. So let's take a, take a quick look at this code, just to set the context, right? We have a simple React app with an index.html, which only has a root here. You can all see the uh, code here, right, properly? Yeah. And uh, then uh, this one just says root. You have the index.js, which is the root of our application. Wherein we say, uh, 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 sorry, just uh, one second. Uh, is the font fine? Yeah, yeah. The font size? Yeah. You can see at the back, right? Yes. Okay. So we say that, okay, uh, just uh, render this application here and uh, render it at root, the normal way that we do it. And how does my application look like? Currently, uh, as you requested, it is just one more uh, component as login over here. And my login component looks like this. It just has like email, a button, uh, or that password thing and all. And uh, there is no functionality there. Right? Okay. So uh, that's the simple React application that we have. And I was very happy I went home uh, back. And then uh, when I uh, returned back the next morning, he said, you know what, most of the good sites, they don't show, show login box like this. They have a login button in the header, and when you click on that, they, you have to show the login uh, box from there. You just don't show your uh, login uh, uh, panel just like that, uh, like that in the home page. So I said, okay, so this will also be fine. So I just refactored my code, and I said, okay, now my app.js, uh, it will look like this. So it will have a header and a main, okay? And uh, the main is empty. I said, you have not told me anything to do in main, so I just say this is awesome home page. And in my header, I put all the login functionality. So what I do here is, I say, okay, get the login component here now, instead of showing it in app. And this is my render method, wherein I say, okay, there is will be one button called as uh, the login button. On click of that, there is going to be some uh, handler, uh, which is going to uh, set a, a state. 
to show the login box uh, or to hide it. And this particular login <coughs> component now it has a show uh, property wherein I am passing my state, uh, and uh, this state is actually manipulated using these methods of show login or cancel login done by the button. And then there are some stylings over here. I'll just again change that back to uh, dark gray, I think. <coughs> so I was very happy with this, and then I said, okay, now, now let's run this one. By the way, this is the win uh, winter is coming uh, theme of VS Code. <laughs> okay, so now, oh, okay, did not show anything? Okay, so this is how my website looks like. This white area uh, below is the uh, main uh, page that we can forget. The green area, I purposefully put it as green so that we can differentiate that. That is my header. Normally, headers are not that big, but just for our purpose, like said, so that it, it shows up in the projector. So now I say that, okay, I will click on the login button and my login uh, dialog should just show up here. I just click on that. Oh, so but now I see, okay, it did show up, but what about the rest of the part? It's just the half of it and the remaining is cut out from there. And that really happened because if I look at my header, if I inspect this screen, I see that there is an overflow hidden uh, property over here, right? And this is a very common uh, problem that a lot of us face, like either in the header or in the sidebar, uh, uh, you always want that, okay, this is the area of the parent, none of the child should actually come out from there, like, you know, this is the uh, restricted area to show any uh, particular div. And this is the kind of a problem that photos uh, uh, will try to fix, but let's see how we were actually trying to fix this one early on. The moment I see this, how will you fix it? This kind of a problem? CSS. Yeah, so the thing is, uh, you apply any kind of CSS to this guy, uh, it will not really come out because the parent says over and equal to leader, right? So you uh, apply any position, uh, it will not really work. So another way is you uh, don't keep it as a child of the header. You say that, okay, now my login uh, box, it will be totally out of my header. And then because it is at the root level of the DOM, it can just show over any of the uh, DOM element. So how we will do that is, like this, uh, we have still not come to quotas, we are just trying to find a solution for my algorithm. So, <laughs> I again go back to the solution, third solution. Now, okay, uh, 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 before we look at the code, let's look at uh, what the code is in third solution. So now, if I look at my app, I earlier had only header and main, right? So now, uh, when I look at this, I see that I have header, I have main, and I have the login uh, component over here. So earlier the login component which was sitting inside header, which was logically correct for me, right? Because I wanted my entire login functionality to be inside my header. But uh, now it says that, okay, now it will have to really sit outside. Before we get into this, let's take a quick look at why the earlier one was a good logical solution for us. Uh, can you see this here? Yeah? Uh, this green box is our header, right? There is a login button and there is a login box over here. How we were showing the login uh, uh, dialog was using a state called as uh, show login, right, uh, over here. And that is why it was a logical solution for us to put this uh, component inside the header component because now this button and this component, they can kind of share uh, some information using a parent uh, state. Either this is a pre-historic, I mean pre-reader's area. So uh, imagine that you know parent is kind of controlling the state between them. Uh, nowadays we have a better state management uh, solution to this one. Now uh, let's see if I try to move this out of uh, here. What I'm trying to do now is something like this. I say that okay, my login button remains into uh, my header area. Okay, like here. The this is my main page area. I just put it small. Uh, you don't see the uh, background, but this is. Uh, this much is my login uh, component. Now, if my login button has to take this guy, that you know, you show or you hide, how will it do it? The moment I click on this login button, there will be a show state in my header. Right? This will be set to true. The moment this header gets to know that, okay, this guy is set to true, he will set another status true to its parent, which is my app. Now, the moment this app gets to know that, okay, this is happening, uh, this guy is listening for change events to this uh, state, he will be figure out that, okay, now this show login is true, so I should show. Similarly, the moment I click on the cancel button over here, it will be set to false, this will be set to false, and like everybody will know that the uh, login button is not being shown, the login uh, dialog. And this is the solution that we have currently 
If I click on Apple, do that anything? This always happens eh, whenever you try to demo something good. <laughs> okay, let's see. I think I am still in the second session. Yeah. Okay, so by the time this is running, it's just uh, run over to the code. This is my header, this is my main, and uh, I say that, okay, my login also is, is now sitting outside. So, the same data flow that I showed you, header has a login button, uh, which is now coming <coughs> outside, and now there is this uh, show login box over here at the app level, which has uh, this method called as show login. So, now basically your data is moving from one component to its parent, to its parent, and then coming to its child, to its child. So, sibling to sibling uh, communication is not really possible, it has to go up the hierarchy and then down the hierarchy. But this is a working solution. So I am still uh, like, my manager won't really get to know what all this thing. He wanted a, a box and he is getting a box here now, right? So now if I look at the inspect element of this guy. And uh, yes. So let's say this is my login box, right? So now I click on this login button and it shows up my login box uh, very well, right? So now I can move around this one entirely anywhere into the page because it is sitting at the root level, it doesn't really matter where it is. So now we have a working solution and this is how we have been working actually till now. But is this really clean for us? Uh, the problem that we'll have is other than my application logic, uh, like you know, my application com uh, complexity keeps growing, these kind of situations are going to be difficult for me for maintainability of the product, right? Like I cannot have uh, one component talking to another one through its parent, through its parent, and then child, child, just like that. So uh, the solution that uh, React Portal says is, when this guy wants to show something like this login box somewhere else in the div, like in this case we wanted to show it in the root, not under the header. Uh, logically, <coughs> this guy should still be a child of header because uh, that is how we wanted it to be. We wanted login box to be a child of header so that all the data between the button and this box remains under the header but uh, physically like uh, presentation wise I want this one to be displayed somewhere else and this is the concept of portal wherein they say that okay uh, you want to show a component you tell us where exactly do you want to show the component and we will show it over there uh, imagine it like uh, those movies where then uh, this uh, more than that. Uh, recently there was this Superman Thor movie was there, right? So they open a portal and they can go from anywhere to anywhere. So it's like that. Like you know, also logically it's over there, but it can just appear anywhere like that. So let's look at this code. Okay, so this is done. Let's look at the code for how portal really solves our problem problems. And we'll spend some time into this code to understand what portal is doing. The problem is clear, right? To everybody, like what is the problem we are trying to solve? So now, website-wise, when we look at this website, now this is the new portal's code. I will look at the code, how it is doing. Now when I click on login, this is still showing up uh, here. And everything is fine. It's the exact same uh, representation as it was before. Uh, now, but let's look at it uh, from the code side. <coughs> Good. So now when I look at my app, now you see, there is a header, okay. there is a main, but there is no more a login component over here. Right? But what we have done here is we have opened a portal, like not a portal, sorry. We have just kept a div over here, uh, which we are saying that this will be kind of a placeholder where we would want to show my login dialog. Right? So we have just kept a div, like a placeholder div, a container div over here. And now let's go back to our header uh, component. And here you will see that it is back to where it was before. So you have a login button and now your uh, login component is actually inside my header again. So logically, again these guys are sitting together, they can again change data within themselves. They don't really have to involve the app to decide whether to show the login dialog or not. And uh, uh, no, one more component that we have added here is the model. Uh, let's see what exactly is the model. Uh, this is where we are actually using our uh, portal's code. So model says, uh, if we don't have to show, then don't show anything. But if we have to show, then this is my render method. There is a div like this, and uh, whatever is uh, uh, the child of that model, whatever are the children's properties, 
just show it like that. So he is not really adding anything extra. He is just saying I am a transparent container. Whoever is my children, I am just going to show it like that. And uh, if you see, this is not just a return statement. This is saying return React DOM dot create portal. Just like you have create element in uh, React uh, DOM, you have a create portal uh, here. So when you say create portal, you can uh, specify what do you want to show, what is the React element that you want to show, and where do you want to show. This is the important part. So here we are saying that I want to show this, I want to show this model uh, component, but I don't want to show it uh, there where it has been defined. I want to show it in uh, the div element with the ID as model. And if you see uh, our, this one again, our index element has a div as a, no sir, where is it? Hmm. So, uh, <coughs> Yes, right, yeah. So now you see that we had already defined a div as model. So we are saying that okay, now whenever somebody wants to render the modal component, uh, irrespective of wherever it has been called from, it should always look for this particular ID and show it over here. So logically it will still be under that, but uh, representation wise it will be under here. When I say logically there and physically here, let's see what does it mean really. Let's run this code. I think it's already running. Now let's inspect this guy. <coughs> Now, this is my uh, element part, okay. This one has the React uh, uh, root element. Uh, now, under this, I have this one as the header. This is the main body. And now, this is where my model is, okay. And this one has the login box inside that. That means my model is actually sitting as a sibling of my header and my uh, this one. So, although I had defined it to be inside header, like if I look at my header.js, I had defined my model to be inside my header, but now it has been rendered outside of the header into a div where I wanted it to be. And this gives me a lot of flexibility of adding whatever styling I want it to be, right? Like I can give whatever position absolute uh, top, like uh, all those things to this guy. But now, uh, look at one more thing. If you have the React, uh, sorry, the React uh, tool in uh, Chrome, here you will see that Oh, is the old one? Oh, it's the old one. Third. You didn't switch the directory. Hmm? Change the directory to zero. Did I uh, I didn't turn it. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen. Okay, so now we are running this uh, code. <coughs> no, no, you are still in three. <coughs> no, no, now we are in code. No. So now, let's see if I run this guy. This is the uh, code that we are running. So now if I say refresh this guy and let's look at what React shows me. Oh. I got basic problems with programming. <laughs> we are going to advance a bit here. Okay, so uh, this is fine, right? Okay, so now uh, let's see if this one uh, shows up. Here if you see, now my app has only header and main, my header has model and uh, as of now it is empty. If I click on the login box, model gets uh, a login inside that. Okay. So this is uh, the beauty of a portal, uh, sorry, portal <laughs> that uh, it shows up somewhere else but logically react element wise it is still under here. So now if I look at this uh, element again, the login box is actually outside. Okay. So now uh, let's see how this one uh, shows up like. It really looks like this. So now we are kind of back to what we were before. There is a login button, there is a login box, which we are saying that, okay, show it in the model box, and that model is something that we want to show it in a portal. So they are all interacting using this uh, state of the parent itself, and they don't really have to go out of the headers from here. So now let's take up a little bit of a complex scenario. Let's take up a scenario like this. Uh, why we are taking this uh, right now is uh, to see uh, how we can pass on data between uh, various uh, components in portals. So I have the login button, uh, which is setting the show login uh, uh, 
state here. Depending on that, my login box will show that we currently have. What we are doing is now to add some extra complexity, we are saying okay, whatever email address I add here, and if I say login, this guy is going to set another property called as email inside my parent here. And this should show up in my button over here, this value, so that we know that okay, I am able to kind of you know see this uh, value over here. Now if I click on this button, I should be able to open another uh, uh, dialog over here uh, inside this uh, same model which will kind of show me the user profile. Uh, in this case, consider only the email address as the profile and there is a close button. Okay, so let's see how this code uh, looks like. In the meantime, I'll just start this one so that we don't waste time in there. Oh, man. I was just testing whether you are paying attention or not. <laughs> Good luck. You will get one cupcake there because I don't know. Thanks. So, um, uh, so now in the uh, fifth one, uh, okay, so now again uh, uh, we have uh, this app, same as uh, before. <laughs> Nothing has changed. There is still a single uh, div to hold the model. And uh, my header, now it looks like this. So I am going nearer and nearer to a better uh, appraisal, like at least 20% increment this time. <laughs> <laughs> so my header shows uh, there is a model uh, component. Earlier it had only a login, but now it also has a profile. And uh, we will not get into the details of this, we have like regular uh, you know, uh, data jumping in uh, React components between one component and another. And uh, if I look at the profile component, Again, it's very similar to the login one, it's just that it shows me email based upon whatever has been passed. So email is passed as a property by the parent and it will show it up over there. So let's see how this one runs. Now you see there are two buttons, hi and login. And if I click on login, I see the login box over here. Um, you can't see the gray, but okay. So now let's say if I say a at b dot c, I click on the login button. And now it shows, oi, huh. <laughs> It shows the email address over here now. It was not there before. And now if I click on this button, it is showing me the user profile in a separate uh, dialog, right? separate model. So this is the beauty of uh, profile, that now even be, uh, without uh, leaving my parent area, within the same React element, I can uh, you know, uh, kind of pass uh, data around uh, over here. So uh, if you again look at uh, the elements over here, they are all, uh, uh, see, you see the div with model uh, as the ID. You see the actual rendering has happened over here, but again if I go to my React tool, here I will see that uh, it is all under header, so header model, login uh, and profile. So now, let's take it to another extreme, now till now all that data has been uh, passed within a React application itself, right? like although it was all different components, but it was all within the same application. Uh, now let's try to solve something which was kind of not possible before. We will try to uh, show something out of the React application. So now, uh, let's look at this code. I should add a default uh, command in my terminal. If I don't say CD, you should just take it as default. So uh, here, now if I go to the sixth one, this is the last, uh, this one in our case, uh, after we will go into all the fundamentals, like uh, GAN, whatever, so, <laughs> so uh, here, uh, now if you look at uh, the source, uh, this is a very uh, simple one. Now our uh, index HTML itself uh, will be changing. Earlier our index had one uh, React uh, create element with, which was showing just the uh, app. Now if you see, this is how my new uh, index.html looks like. So this one has basically two groups. One is this div which says plain HTML and there is another group of div which says profile. Right? So what basically we are trying to do is only this profile will be managed by React. This will be kind of outside the jurisdiction of React and like you know it's like a plain HTML in our page. Can this kind of a case be handled? So basically what I'm trying to do is I am sitting under the React application from inside this profile, can I show something in the div login over here, which is outside React, yeah? So let's look at uh, my index.js. 
So if you see, uh, index.js now very specifically says that show profile, okay, in the div uh, with the ideas profile. So the plain HTML is actually out of uh, uh, React's uh, control and it is only the lower one which is there. And how does my profile look like? Profile says, okay, there will be uh, a label, uh, whatever, with that email ID that I have passed. Then there will be a button which says uh, login. And now, uh, under that, I am saying create portal and uh, this, uh, this code will be uh, executed when I click on that button because I am using the same state uh, between them uh, as the show login. When show login is true, at that time this login will show up. But where will this login show? It will not show under portal. Uh, oh, sorry, not under profile. It will try to show under a new portal which we are trying to display in the login ID. Right, which is actually out of my uh, React's uh, uh, control. So now if I run this guy, okay, that's too much of. Uh, ah, so this is how my uh, application looks like. This is the profile uh, guy, and this yellow region that you see, this is outside of React application. Okay, and this is that uh, plain HTML div. Now if I click on here, I see that the login button shows up over here, the login dialog. So this is uh, another beauty of uh, portals that if you click on here, you can actually show your portal anywhere else. And I will actually share a link with you, so like you know, uh, somebody has taken a step even beyond this. They are saying that okay, if I click a button over here, you, will, you can actually open a new uh, browser tab and show your login dialog over there itself. So you know, you don't even have to be in the same login, uh, uh, like same uh, browser tab. And this, this is kind of something that gives you enormous power as to where do you want to show your divs and still you have, uh, you are still taking care of your application uh, complexity because logically they are still under the uh, hierarchy of the React element that you wanted it to be. Okay, so now let's uh, see where do we use portals. A quick step on time, yeah. So, uh, first of all, like uh, we saw the case, right, where it is actually useful whenever there is override equal to uh, hidden or wherever you are using Z index or position equal to absolute fixed term. Uh, these are the places where uh, you your CSS is not really helping you out and you really want to show your component somewhere else uh, in the div uh, hierarchy. That is where it is uh, very much useful. There are basically two cases. One is always on top, like a light box, right? Again, okay. Oh, this is also not showing, right? So, consider that to be uh, gray in color. So you will have seen the light boxes in your websites, right? Like suddenly I am uh, looking at a blog and suddenly it just blocks everything and says that we want to subscribe to email. And then you have to look for the close button, right? So that is a light box. So you know, it just uh, closes everything and shows everything on top of it. Like, you know, uh, unless you say yes, you cannot do anything. And then the second one is kind of a case like this, wherein, okay, you are showing it as part of a uh, parent, but your parent is not yet really trying, uh, allowing you to come out of it. And uh, you are basically bigger than your parent, so you want to show it up over there. Okay, so now let's run fast. Uh, so, so why use portals? Handles complexity, and then uh, okay. Now there is a concern about using portals, right? Because we saw that from portals, from one place I can show the UI somewhere else, and from there I can show it somewhere else. So a lot of people they started, uh, started looking at this as uh, very similar to the go-to statement in C. Uh, if you know, like uh, in C, there was a provision that I am in, inside my function, suddenly I say, okay, go to level 1, and level 1 is somewhere inside another function, and I can continue from there, and I can, I can jump back here and there. This one came up because in assembly, this is how assembly codes are written, but in a higher level languages, we need a better control of the code flow, because majority of our time is actually spent in debugging our code, right? like the code maintainability is an issue for us, so a good design says that you should have a good structured code. And go-to statements are considered evil. They are like more of this, you know, subsidy. So, uh, and another thing is, like, you know, when you go from portal to portal to portal, like, you know, I open one portal, from there you say, okay, I open another portal and another portal. Like, you know, how do we take care of this? But then, if you look at it closely, it actually uh, is like this. So initially, when there is no portal use, your React element and your DOM, they go kind of hand in hand, right? So you have component one, two, three, four, and they represent div1, div2, div3, div4. And then, and this was how it looked like. Uh, you can't see, so forget it. <laughs> uh, and when we had a case like this, where we wanted to show the portal, 
again you cannot see the code but this is how it looks like so your jsx still remained very structured but your actual representation of dom was this component was now actually rendered not under orange but outside of orange right so i could have just uh, decided to show it anywhere else similarly in a case like this i actually showed it out of the react uh, app itself so consider this blue box as the react app your jsx is still very uh, structured but your actual uh, representation here this one is showed out of the react uh, app and this is the beauty of it like you know you do whatever spaghetti you want here whatever way you want to represent your ui your actual conceptualized uh, uh, react element like you know the way you are designing your system if that is uh, clean enough then your code is actually maintainable Uh, we will not get into the details of uh, create uh, testing uh, React code in total time, but I'll give you one hint that uh, when you're testing using Enzyme, right? There are two methods: mount and shallow. Mount basically uh, tests a DOM, shallow tests a component. And as you see that uh, uh, portals, they deal more with the uh, React element side, the component side, and not really with the DOM. So try to use shallow, and you should be able to test it the same way as you do your other components. state management uh, pre remains pretty much the same as you would do anything else because although you are showing it somewhere else they are still pretty much uh, the child of your react elements and you can test them the way you want a uh, few of the gotchas like you know while you are designing your uh, portals uh, don't think about the ui how it looks like but think about conceptually how components react with each other how components uh, you know behave like the way you uh, think about classes right uh, how classes behave or uh, uh, how the relationship between two classes are that is how we should try to design our react uh, uh, components if you do that it doesn't really matter matter whether you are showing a child inside a parent or outside of a parent and this was the push that i was talking about you can take a look at that uh, thing uh, write it down quickly okay <laughs> thanks sir uh, okay so uh, that's it uh, this is the url you will get it uh, bitly react portals that is where the sample codes are if you just want to try your hands on and uh, it's a very simple concept but a very good uh, and a very innovative thing because it kind of forces us to think uh, in terms of good designs irrespective of the representation of our react component Yeah, I can't even think.